we going? So we're here. Trax has just released these new extreme heavy duty uh, driveline and outer suspension upgrade kit. Um, so this is gonna be for any of the rustlers uh, slash and Haas owners. We're not really sure why they don't say Stampede 4x4 because they do use the 36, 55 XA arms and all the other stuff the Slash uses. Um, so as of right now, we're gonna say for Stampede as well. Um, but uh, correct me if I'm wrong if you try to use it and you haven't. So you haven't put any on a Stampede. We got a customers, as I dropped the hex, customers Rustler 4x4 here that he was ever so gracious enough to let us use for this HD um, review. So. Uh, this is the Russell 4x4 solar flare body. And let's chat about what we got now with these new extra heavy duty outer drive line and suspension upgrade. So this customer has placed the uh, white extra heavy duty or cold weather A-arms on his Rustler with the blue shock towers and then the blue upgrade kit. So it does look pretty darn fancy. Um, so the biggest upgrade you'll notice right away is going to be the drive shaft diameter. So now these are gonna be one mini max, I guess, one night scale max, whatever you wanna call it, uh, drive shaft sizes. So 15.1 millimeters outer diameter versus the standard Rustler 4x4, which are actually more heavy duty than your standard slash or uh, stampede style drive shafts. A little bit beefier there. And then as you can tell, he put the heavy duty on one side and then we still have the stalkers on the other, other than he did upgrade to the aluminum blue rear hub carriers. So the biggest thing with this kit is you are gonna get uh, bigger bearing sizes now. So instead of your standard 5.11s in the rear hub carriers and your five by 11 on the outer and 10 by 15 by four on the inner, now you're gonna get a 12 by 18 and a six by 12 bearing. So the bearings are actually larger as well to deal with the bigger axles. You are gonna get the big heavy duty drive shafts, steering knuckles, caster blocks, rear hub carriers, front and rear shock tower in this kit as well. So it is a pretty decent kit. Um, we have one side put together here. So this is going to be how they tear down. So kind of an interesting drive shaft. It has a doubled tapered side. So you still get your four mil thread, five mil for your wheel hexes, if you wanna run a standard taper so your hex actually fits from your wheel. Um, and then it goes up to six mil, which is this is gonna be techno drive shafts. Uh, as you can tell, it comes with steel hexes as well for that, uh, but big monster bearings in the front and the rear inner and outer. So that's gonna be one huge upgrade. The one thing we're not sure, certain on, and we're not really sure because Traxxas really doesn't mention it in their kit, is it does come with three six by 12 mil bearings. And we've noticed that the outer and the inner fit, but it does almost have a space that you could put this bearing on the inside of the rear hub carrier. Downside is when you actually go to put it together, um, it doesn't engage enough to actually use this size um, or come through on the thread. So the only thing we could think of is if you ever did break one of these, that you might be able to put one of the uh, the stock size. But then we thought, wait, you can't do that either because these aren't six mil. So we're not really sure why this bearing is even included in this kit. I've looked on a whole bunch of Facebook pages here recently since the customer told me about it and no one really says anything about it. So um, that's kind of the one oddity that we're not too certain on, uh, on why they even give it, but I guess you get a, a spare outer wheel bearing. So we'll go with it. So we'll go right to what I think is the hugest upgrade that Traxxas did was the rear hub carrier. So before we always had issues with the hub carrier only being captured in the center, like this one is. So it only has this much material holding it. And what tends to happen is the arm will actually open up and you'll pull that pin through or break it clean right off the top because they are pretty thin. Now on the new hub carrier, it's captured on the inside, the middle and the outside of the arm. And it also has a really, really large, um, I guess bracing for the upright that the screw goes in on one side and then really has a lot of thread on the other. So it is quite beefy in comparison to the stock. And that's even what they did on the front. So the caster block does have the same thing, quite a bit more material, has an extra inner brace here. Um, so they don't just shatter this side and explode and way more bulky and beefy on the inside of that caster block as well. Way more material in here, so it should be quite a bit tougher. Going on to the steering knuckle, kind of the same thing, 
way more bracing and way more ribs throughout that outer side of the bearing to kind of make sure that that doesn't flex, doesn't have a whole bunch of play and you don't wreck that bearing. Uh, and way more beef when you start looking at the top of that steering knuckle as well. Um, so definitely way bigger, way beefier. Uh, and this is also what we think is coming in the cold weather plastics, just looking at the color, looking at the shine in comparison to your standard steering knuckle or C-hub. So it should be quite a bit more durable and quite a bit stronger. The other thing that does change is gonna be the front and the rear shock tower. The nice part is now with the Rustler and the Haas, these shock towers used to not work for the slash or the stampede because they didn't have the two holes to mount your slash or stampede body mount. So now they do have the adaptations for those. So it's kind of a one kit fits all in that sense, uh, just because you can, like I said, put it on a slash, stampede, Rustler or a Haas. The other thing that does change a little bit on these is you do get quite a bit more material in these upper shock bolts. So you could go to a longer shock bolt if you don't have the uh, shoulder bolt style, if you have the new style with the eyelet uh, and it just runs a standard three mil bolt, you can upgrade to a little bit longer bolt so those aren't pulling out of the shock tower. The camber link holes are marginally different. Um, they kind of move about a half millimeter and the holes kind of overlap. There is going to be four positions for the inner camber link on the front and you do get five on the rear so you can really change um, your camber link length and you can really change your roll center up or down uh, with that adjustment. So kind of nice there, but that's it. That's the new Traxxas HD kit. It is available in black, blue, green, red, or orange. So if you do have a color preference, you can pretty much almost get anything now in aluminum and this new Traxxas upgrade kit, which is super, super awesome. The kit here in Canada retails for 164 bucks. Uh, and we do have a couple in stock here, ultra with black and green, and our supplier does have all the other colors in stock. So if you'd like to check them out, get some more info, throw a comment down below or stop on in and we'd be happy to help you. Thanks for watching, bye.